I can't well, move. Oh, 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 holy. oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh my god. <laughs> Give me the f out of here. Oh my fucking god. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh Why no. Are you going so fast? I can't go any faster. Markiplier doing a physical challenge. Mark is a fairly like in shape guy. He works out occasionally, but he likes to brag like he's like, I have the biggest storms on YouTube. I have the most in shape YouTuber that you've ever seen. I'm like there's Joey, some, Joey uh, Swole, Joey Swole. Dude. I was gonna say there's some weightlifting YouTubers that would probably beg to differ. He was on Daily Dose Internet. Is, is Joey Swole the chair guy, the chair split guy? No, that's uh Juji Mufu. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, Juji's the insane man. Like, yes. Nobody out muscles Juji. The way this guy's muscles work is impossible. I, I don't know how he's able to do this. Uh, from Daily Dose. Yeah. I had no idea the human body was even capable of doing this. Crap. Yeah. That's the kind of thing that they say that you have to be dehydrated for. If yeah, he's they, dehydrated. Like, movie actors like get dehydrated to make their muscles that defined. Well, you know, Rob McElhinney said that he was miserable during those shoots on Always Sunny because. Whenever he was doing the. Whenever he was Fit Mac. Doing Ripped Mac. Yeah. Which that I was... think he's technically still Ripped Mac right now, but he hasn't shown his abs off in a while, so he might have not. Yet. That might be the reason, you know. He hasn't shown them in a while is because that sucks to have to get them to pop like that, I guess. Well, yeah, because you literally dehydrate yourself to the point where your skin is literally, like, pulled so tight over your muscles that it, there's nothing that's restricting, like, them from showing. And I know there are people out there who are just insanely, like, in shape because of good genetics. Fuck you, by the way. Mm. Um... <laughs> the higher end of just like what is humanly possible they have ascended to the next level i will say this to me the most ascended human being in terms of like physical capabilities that i think i've possibly ever seen lebron james to see what a man that big is able to like the dude is six foot eight and weighs 250 pounds mo and moves like a thoroughbred jumps like a gazelle and is just one of the most intelligent human beings on planet earth this makes me sad because uh I weigh 250 pounds. You are not you, you are not six foot eight. No, I'm not. They did tests on him. You know the normal human ACL is about as thick as your pinky, right? Mm. LeBron's is about that thick. No but surgery, it's harder no to nothing. Tear, then. Yeah, oh yeah. It's actually they've actually shown that uh, the normal force needed to exert to tear an ACL, it, his would have to exceed like ten times that. Which is why he's never had like a very severe injury in his entire career. Good for him. I know, right? Genetics are a funny thing, and Mark, Mark's got some pretty good genetics. He's a handsome fella. He's he's got like he he's in fairly good shape, and he's got a banger of a voice. He is going to be doing a challenge. Either way, Mark is doing a challenge, the one hundred thousand steps in a single day challenge. That seems insane. I don't have a reference for how many that is, but I know it's a lot. 50 miles. Mm -hmm. 50 miles in one day. Yeah, that's a lot. Uh, but whenever the scouts hiked the Mishamakwa Trail, went back when I was in scouts, that was considered to be the longest hike we did, and it was a 25-mile hike, and you didn't do it in one day. So the most I think I've ever done in one day is, I think, oh, wow, around, I think, 18 miles one day I did with my dad, and my feet at the end of that day were basically just on fire. But, all right, let's see if Markiplier can complete the 100,000 steps in a single day. I, I don't think he's going to succeed because he's saying it broke him. I am a broken man. <laughs> I don't know why, but I decided one day, yesterday, that I was going to try to get 100,000 steps in a single day. I don't know if it's because I'm in lockdown because of coronavirus. I don't know if it's because oh, yeah, I'm going that's right. crazy. But I decided uh. to do this challenge. This and is also what he's let doing. Let me tell you, honest. I was woefully unprepared for the amount of work that would be required to accomplish it and the insanity of what I was trying to do in the first place. The average person in a given day, if they're even moderately active, will walk 10,000 steps. That's pretty impressive. That's a lot of steps. 
I was doing 10 times that number. I started my day off just seeing if I could. I was walking around my pool. I was experimenting. I was seeing which style of walking might do this because theoretically, in my mind, I thought that it would be possible. And technically, yes, it is possible. However, what I quickly realized, 100,000 steps is a lot of steps. So apparently I only was walking for five minutes. It felt like forever. There are only 86,400 seconds in a day. Of those 86,400, you're only awake for about two thirds of them. That gives yeah, that you 57,024 seconds of rise and shine waking energy to be able to do the walking. That's almost two steps a, a second, second yeah. for the entire time that you're awake. You have to be walking at a vigorous pace of about 130 steps per second or jogging at 140, or in my case, fast. So after I finished my initial research, I started to realize that I needed to adapt my lifestyle to the mobile lifestyle. I literally can't <laughs> stop stepping. Like, it doesn't matter, like, if I'm doing fast or slow. I think that's the only way that I'm going to nice be able to get to 100,000 steps. This seems like a bigger task than I thought it was going to be. Always adding in steps wherever I could. No matter what I was doing, I was always moving. And this is where the psychological changes started to take place. I realized that my life was very static. I'm sitting down right now. Number one, I'm sitting down right now because my legs don't work. But number two, <laughs> that's what normal people do at a computer. I've got to say, it sounds like my granddad. Why are you sitting down? My legs don't work. At a standing oh. desk and sometimes <laughs> yeah. um, i was wondering what you were talking about he's got a lift on his desk and yes, he's got he an is. eno down there that is so cool yes sometimes i stand depending on my mood or what type of video i'm filming but for the most part i live a pretty sedentary life so i needed to change that that's gonna be a doozy i need every excuse to walk today that i can get so i started doing everything mobile i made my coffee while walking around. I made my breakfast while walking around. And in doing so, I got a lot more clumsy than I was before. I ended up spilling things. I ended up <laughs> spilling the pancake mix. Oh. Oh. Way more messes than I ever thought I needed to. Oh. Poor doggy. No. I just dropped trash on Chica. No. Oh. No, I'm so sorry. But I was mobile and I was getting my steps in. And I hit 10,000 steps pretty early on in the day, which made me think, hey, Maybe I got a shot at this. The only problem is the sheer scope of a hundred thousand steps is it's a lot. I actually noticed that I was a lot more productive. Because I was moving, I had to use every excuse possible to do something to move. So I ended up doing dishes. I ended up vacuuming. That's a very mobile chore. I ended up doing the laundry, which isn't too mobile, but if it, it, it is if you do it inefficiently. Yeah, if you put away forth. clothes one at a time, yeah, it becomes a lot more. Uh, oh my gosh! A lot dude. more working involved. I did everything. Oh. Any spare <laughs> moment. I didn't put up clothes one at a time. How else are you gonna fold your clothes and put them up? I just got okay. Let's uh, literally. I, mean, I don't consider having a basket full of clothes to be put up. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, they're only put up if I actually take the effort to fold them. Which I no, don't but here's the thing: you fold something, then you put it up. Go back, grab another thing, fold it, then you put it up. I hang most of my clothes, so I have to do that. Yeah, me, I I just got done folding all the laundry that I had in my in my room. Oh, you finally folded all that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. So proud. If I'm I folded the, uh, the other thing I found out is if I actually wash everything that I have, which I did this last time, and try to fold it all, I don't have room for all of it. So I had to leave some of it in the basket. Because <laughs> I have too many clothes. Of my time was dedicated to walking because that's what I had to do. Another challenge was just trying to walk while I was eating. <laughs> you hot toss all over that shirt. No, no, no. He's going to end up with a plate in the floor. Oh. I'm a genius. <laughs> I'm so smart. <laughs> <laughs> But what I didn't factor in was just the sheer amount of calories I was gonna burn doing this. Energy, energy, energy. Walking takes energy. And you don't think of it very much because it's just walking, it doesn't feel like a lot of work. But when you're doing it all day long, you are burning an astronomical amount of calories. The average person, about 160 pounds, will burn 40 calories per thousand steps. That's 0 0.04 calories per step. Now I'm 180 something pounds, so 180, pounds would probably burn around 45 
per thousand steps. So divide by a thousand, you get 0 0.045 calories per step. I'm trying to do 100,000. I was gonna burn 4,500 calories in a day if I did this. And that's assuming I'm not walking fast. And I was walking fast. I had to do it fast. I had to do it fast because I didn't have time. So step, 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 step. Try saying the word step a hundred thousand times. That's a That's a Mr. Beast challenge. If I was outside and hot enough to take my shirt off while I was walking all that freaking time and there was a pool right there, I don't know if I would be able to have the self-restraint to not jump in it at some point. I just love the fact that Cheek is... I know you would lose the challenge if you did that. I just love the fact that Cheek is looking at it and just be like, I think my dad's broken. Step, step, step. Try saying the word step a hundred thousand times. That's about the same. I'm I was gonna say, you know what? I'll do that as a sort of like Mr. Beast like challenge. I'll live stream that shit. What? You're gonna be there a while. Step, 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 step. It's gonna take you probably eight to nine hours. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. Of course, I'd have to keep count. How are you gonna keep count of it, too, though? <laughs> that's the thing. That's, <laughs> Good I, luck. I would have to be. I would have. I would have to be like step, 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 I ended up taking the dogs out, walk down to the park. Perfect excuse. The take puppies. the dogs out for a walk. Get their steps in, get my steps in. Dogs have it oh, easy. He's so happy. They have four legs. Like they're taking twice as many steps as I am because they got twice as many legs. It's not fair. <laughs> Once I got about to 31,000 steps, I really thought that I could do this. And then I had videos to make. I had to figure out a way to step while I was standing at my desk. But I came up with a solution. Turns out this watch doesn't really care if it's on your wrist or on your ankle. And if I'm standing, I can always march in place and get my steps in that way i can still play doom and work out let's do this or just work around or he can play a v, for the fact or he can play a vr game and in the vr game he can just jog around just be like i'm jogging in a vr world <laughs> that it's like uh patting your head and rubbing your tummy if you're trying to actually play say doom eternal and you have to do the hand-eye coordination thing and try to step at the same time it's kind of hard but I got my recording done. I got what I needed to do done. Then the rain started. Unfortunately, it's raining, which means that I can't lap around the pool and I am Boo. way off target. Put on a it's raincoat, bro. And I'm at 42,000 steps. I, I'm not even halfway there. And it's four o'clock. I gotta kick this into overdrive, but I gotta figure out how. I was looking forward to walking around the pool. I had to walk inside, trapped inside. So mm -hmm. I kept trying to Reminds stay me helpful. COVID. Tried to help Amy around the kitchen. Hey, do you need me to get you anything from the living room? Like your water? Uh, no. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Tried to get in the way of Amy playing Animal Crossing by walking in front of the TV. We got a fossil. Great. Everything was great. <laughs> then my watch started running out of batteries. 51,986 miles. I'm officially halfway <laughs> there. But there's a problem. I've almost run my watch out of batteries. I have never in my life run moves. this thing out of batteries in a given day. This almost always lasts the whole day. Then came the trouble of trying to keep track of my steps without my watch. <sighs> Had to download a pedometer. <sighs> then more walking. I was gonna say, if Wonder Mini Lad shows up on that, you are exactly 15 miles away from Craig Toast. Hmm? <sighs> he knows what you're talking about. Pedometer. Oh. It's not the same. I know it's not. I just had to make the joke. More walking, more walking, more walking, more walking, 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 walking. There you go, Mark. No cruise island. Oh, I like their scene. It's an underrated game. Walking. I was so goddamn hungry. I'm starting to get hungry again. I was so unbelievably hungry. Oh, I feel the hunger. I couldn't fathom it. At this point in the day, I had already eaten about 3,000 calories. I can eat 3,000 calories in a day, but at this point, food was just becoming a chore. 
So I took a dinner break. I started getting so hungry. I'm getting real tired. My feet are hurting real bad. And I had a lot more walking left to do. It's 642. I've only got so many hours left in the day to get 42,000 steps. Oh. So I walked. About 60,000 steps and my foot started hurting. I'm getting this foot pain. Like a deep pain in my biggest of toes and i didn't know Left if my tiny right tootsies foot. would be able to tolerate another 40,000 steps but step i did i had to adopt a quicker step style that was more like a jog and i i, I just can't I, I can't describe the boredom <laughs> like at this point i've been i've been walking so long i was just bored you know, <laughs> the and dog. amy was playing animal crossing that was fun <laughs> to watch but you know only for a little bit the rest of the time it was just like ow my foot ow my legs Ow, my muscles. God, I'm hungry. That was it. I was bored, I was hungry, and I was in pain. I've never had my <laughs> life boiled down to such simple needs. My heart rate was a consistent 100 to 110 for pretty much the whole damn day. Damn. Like, that's not a big workout, but all day, all day, my poor heart. And then I made the horrible mistake. When I got to 70,000 steps, I decided I needed to take a break. No. Uh -oh. So I laid down. And what's funny nap. is the body has methods of convincing you that you're stupider than you try to become. <laughs> and when you do something stupid <laughs> enough, your body decides that it's time for the stupid to go away. And so basically, <laughs> whenever you start to rest, your body basically starts producing they yeah, basically starts producing acid to break down the muscle fibers so that they can heal and recover. I think that's what's about to happen to Mark. And it shuts you down mid-stupid. As soon as I laid down, <laughs> my legs literally stopped working. My legs don't work anymore. <laughs> my muscles just wouldn't muscle. I physically can't. I was like, I'm gonna take 30 and I'll see how I feel. I don't feel, <laughs> I don't feel anything below my knees. My foot was in such pain. I couldn't jump, couldn't do it. Couldn't do it to save my life. <laughs> so painful. Amy had made cookies and I was just like, oh. I'll just get a cookie. I couldn't walk up the two steps to get to the kitchen to get a cookie. I couldn't walk two steps. <laughs> Game over guys. Good, good, good try. We got three cookies. Fair play. No handshakes. No, no touching. <laughs> this was such a mistake. Man, <laughs> just pure relief. <laughs> you know, I, I thought I would have been laying there in pain, but all I could think about when I was laying on the couch eating a cookie was just, my God, thank God. Goodness. <laughs> I didn't want to hurt myself trying to do this. I'm not that big of a dumb dumb. And when I got to the point where I decided like, okay, I need to stop for the sake of my own health. I was so happy. <laughs> I'd never been happier in my <laughs> life. I was laying on the couch watching Amy play Animal Crossing. I was like, this is fantastic. I was eating cookies like, this is great. I love it. Life's good. You know, no problems at all. I love it. But yeah, I did that. I mean, I didn't accomplish my goal, but I got damn close and I got a lot farther than I thought I would. That was the most productive day I've ever had. I got so much cleaning done. I got so much laundry done, so many chores around the house, so many little things that I thought like I would never have time for and I did it. And I went and recorded videos too. And I walked 70,000 steps and probably more because my, my watch wasn't exactly super accurate at getting steps. I was like calculating out. I was like counting in my head hundred and my watch would record like 94. It's not enough to get me to the hundred thousand by any stretch of the imagination, but I, I think I actually got closer to 75,000 that day. But even so, holy crap. That's that was still impressive. It was a lot of work. And the moral of the story is that, you know, sometimes you just gotta try. Sometimes you just got to try something stupid, you know, that no one else will do just because, you know, why not? It's not going to kill me. It might break my foot, <laughs> but I love challenges like that. I love challenges that I don't know if I can accomplish where literally I'm like, I have to dedicate myself to this 100%. Otherwise, it's just one of those thoughts in your head that's going to go in and then pop out and never come to life. And that's so many ideas in my mind. I have tons of ideas of stuff that I want to do all the time. And I always talk myself out of it because I think it's crazy before actually doing it. And this is just one of those things that I didn't let sit in my mind and I didn't let it become nothing. I actually did it. I, well, I mean, I didn't, I couldn't, but. Physically. I tried.
And uh, my only regret was that I didn't stop at 69,420 steps. <laughs> right. Or did I? One, two, three, four. Come on. Come on. Please. Not like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It will not move. This is so weird. This thing will not move. Six, seven, eight. Oh no. Oh, he went over. No, no, no. No! <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Oh, so Slip sad. Close. That sucks so bad. That's more disappointing than not finishing the challenge by far. Oh. <laughs> I knew exactly where it was going. I'm just like, no. As soon as it, that ticked up, I was just like, oh, overshot. Yeah, that's too real about having all these ideas and just talking yourself out of them because I do that all the time. It's like I, I'm trying my best to try to not do that as much. And like one of the things recently that I was just like, you know what? I'm going to stop thinking about it. I'm going to. We're gonna start talking to people, and I'm gonna see if we can make it happen. Was then doing uh, doing Dungeons and Dragons finally. Yeah, and we're going through with it. Mm. We're actually going through with it. We have ordered dice. We have. I should have brought my dice down here. Yeah, me too. We have uh, no we have the books that are necessary. Thank you, and Micah. Yes, th yes, blessings unto you, thee, Micah. Micah, Micah, I'll save you. Thank you for the deliverance. <laughs> Of the Dungeons and Dragons D and D five <laughs> ebooks, so that we do not have to give money to those bastards at Wizards of the Coast. <laughs> what is happening? Just I'm paying tribute to Coffee Shop Jesus. I am Jesus. praying unto Coffee Shop Jesus. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How it, is Micah doing? Is uh, he's <laughs> he's busy. He got sick over the weekend. Oh, that's yeah, nice. he got sick over the weekend, and he's got family coming in this week, so he's yeah, not we'll able to record. Micah. Yeah, oh yeah, we miss Mike all the time. But yeah, he he's he, he he's always just off doing stuff. And plus, he's in the midst of I think two to three D and D campaigns right now, and he's having to balance that along with a full time job, along with family, along with him like like just trying to make room for everybody. Also, he's trying to reset up his new shop. He's had this shop. He's been paying for it now for about six months. He still hasn't been able to move everything in because because of just like bullshit that just keeps getting in the way. By the way, from what Nate told me, he apparently sounded to me. My interpretation is he sounded a little disappointed that we actually decided not to play Curse of Strong. Oh no no no! Which leads me to think that actually he was sadistically waiting to hear the stories of everyone's characters being horribly murdered. Earlier. Oh here here here! <laughs> I'll read I'll read it. I'll read it. <laughs> Here's what I said. Thanks a lot, Micah. Here's what I said. It was This was last Wednesday. I said, hey, how goes the shop? Eh, we'll get there one day. How are things on your end? Going good. I'm getting things arranged for our first D&D &D night. We had a session zero, and it went great. Heck yeah, man. That's awesome. Did you settle on 5e or Pathfinder 2? 5e. We are, going, we are doing Waterdeep Dragon Heist as our first campaign. Oh man, that's one. That one has so many different paths you can take. Uh, that's awesome. I thought Nick had settled on Curse of Strahd. He originally did, but get and we were planning on it. But then, given how tough the campaign is, especially for first timers, we agreed that Waterdeep would be for the best. That's fair. Uh, that's fair. That campaign has kicked me in the dick more times than I can count. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, Nick made it abundantly clear that we were going to have a rough time. He's like, well, it's an adventure where players need to understand that it's not okay, or that, it, or to understand that it is okay to run away sometimes. Usually 5e has people feeling like Marvel superheroes, mm -hmm. and that's basically, that was basically the combo. So yeah, I, I asked him if he was free this week, and he basically told me that, you know, all like... He's him, easy. Yeah, him being sick, work, plus family coming in. It's one of those things. But hey, we, we still can be thankful unto him for his many blessings and granting us the ability to play Dungeons & Dragons 5e without having... He saved us a couple hundred dollars. Yes. So. And it also prevented us from ever having to pay Wizards of the Coast more money. 
you fucking, you fucking jackmates. Well, except I still bought the water deep book. But at least well, okay. We didn't give them a hundred. But by comparison, at least we didn't give them a total of two hundred dollars. You know? Exactly. Gosh. Anyway, so yeah, that was Markiplier breaking his legs by trying to do a hundred thousand steps in a single day. And you know what this song, uh, reminded me of? What's that? One hundred miles, and I would walk five hundred. Da da da. Yeah, okay. He should have had that in the background. I think he'd get copyright struck into oblivion. Oh, true. Uh, but I'm surprised he didn't listen to music or do something. Well, he probably was for like a lot of it, but he can't play a lot of it because of yeah. copyright restrictions. Although I would have loved it if he would have had like a, just a, oh gosh, imagine like him playing the uh, uh, the Ruins music from, from Undertale just while he's like doing circles. <laughs> Oh, God. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it. This was Mark Flyer doing his thing. And w until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Kate. I am Nick. And we'll see you in the next one, everybody. Bye-bye.